Light It Out Lovelies and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here today, my name is Angela and thank you so much for joining us to unbox and review the Nescafe Starbucks Genio S Plus. I've said that about 10 times now and I finally got it right. <laughs> Anyway, basically I did a click and collect order for this coffee machine from Big W for $99. And your girl has been waiting very patiently to unbox it on camera with you guys, set it up, and review that coffee. From what I've seen online, the reviews do appear to be good, so hopefully this thing lives up to expectations. Ta-da! It's a coffee machine. Starbucks Coffee at Home by Nescafe Dolce Gusto. Cool. So what I get in this box is obviously the coffee machine. Then you get a Starbucks travel cup. And then three flavors of coffee. So I get cappuccino, Americano, and espresso. All of these are inspired by Starbucks coffees, so they better be delicious. Mm, take that later. Let's do these. Mm-hmm. Grab this one. Ta da! The cappuccino ones. <sighs> Number two, espresso. Q. And numero three, <clears throat> Americano. Wait, did I read that wrong? Did they both espresso? Maybe it's like a lucky dip. Cause look, you see on the back of the box, it's got those three. I got a different one in mine. I mean, I'm not mad, I don't really care what I get in there, but see that was the end one. That one ain't on there. <laughs> oh well, apparently we got a different coffee one in there. Never mind. Let's grab the Starbucks cup now. This is a weird box. Why does it have like pressy things like that? That's so weird. Oh well. Let's just see. I feel like I have too much going on at the moment. Let's put this there. That's much better. A Starbucks coffee shop. Coffee shop? <laughs> mug or travel mug. Tumblr instructions. Oh, I see. Wait, so you can like, ah, get it. So you don't burn your hands. That's, that's good. That's good stuff. We like not burning our hands. Woo! It's the actual coffee machine, guys. It looks quite nice and compact, which is kind of what I was hoping for, considering we don't have the biggest kitchen. So kind of need to utilize space. So hopefully this won't take up too much room on the counter. The coffee machine itself. Dolce Gusto. Okay, let's do this. Thing that I'm looking at which totally looks like the bottom of something but I just realized it's like the little grate in case you know some stuff spills that goes inside that Moving on. <laughs> now I can see this lovely bright red cord how fancy oh it's so cute look at me I like it I like it a lot yay instructions I'm gonna need those okay one thing at a time, Angela, one thing at a time. Okay, let's take her out. Be ready for the grand reveal, guys. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, that's a bad sound. <laughs> Ta -da. Ooh. Ooh, so shiny. I mean, I'm intrigued, I'll say that. Let's have a look. So we've got a few buttons at the front, temperature by the looks of it. Um, I'm guessing that's what you click to know how much the strength is because it's got a little co coffee. It's got a little coffee bean with a plus button, so obviously that would make it stronger, no doubt. Uh, and then I think that's kind of like adjusting your cup size as well. So, where do you put the pods in? Is my question. <laughs> Instead of like fiddling. Oh, 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 what's that do? Oh, wait. Drop things. I don't really see what the point is of reading through this in here. 
let's head to the kitchen, put this on the bench, and try and get it making some coffee. Now I've got to do the glorious task of actually figuring this thing out. So let's plug her on in and see what magic happens, eh? Is there an on switch? Oop! It's glowing. I'm gonna read the book. <laughs> right, plug it in. Clean me first. Number one, fill with water. Just under the max line. Don't want to overdo it, I don't think. Okay. Water in. Next. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it turns, people. So you turn this one to go through your settings. Very good. Very good. So go all the way to the top. Put that under there. And then click this one. Well, it's making noise, so I assume that's a good thing. <laughs> Yay! I did something! Go, Angela! Oops, it's hot too. Let me serve you. So, you're going to want to take out that little plastic bit. I'll show you guys that in a second, because obviously you would have seen it before when I was in the bedroom, but... Yeah, well that actually fills up the cup quite nicely. Well, not quite. It leaves room for milk, so that's a good thing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's probably about up to there in the milk. So not bad. And now I guess, let me serve you one water, two in, three cup, four out, up. Sorry, that would be up. This is where we put our pod. Ooh, careful, that's a bit warm. Just check that out. So we want that out to fit a pod in here. Okay, I'm gonna grab the pods. I think I'll go for cappuccino, because that is normally my go-to coffee, so. Let's have a look at what these look like. Oh, they're pretty big. Ah, very clever. So on here, it has a scale that looks the same as this one. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it has the lines dashing and getting bigger as they go up. And then this one has two of those filled up. So I'm guessing you want it to go up to two. I'm very interested to see how this goes. Have I got this? I think I've got this. <laughs> Starting from the top, let's get going. Gonna use a friend's mug. Do love me a friend's mug. Place my pot in. Fits nice and snug. Put that in there. Ooh, feel that? It pierced it. And then we go and turn this to the second line, because that's where it's said to do it. Yay! It's making noise. Is it gonna look like coffee. <laughs> oh, hello. Wow. That so isn't full though. <laughs> Oop, let it go a bit longer, I think. I know it says put it in the bin, but I'm going to do it twice. I'm really scared. Last time I had like a pod coffee was when we were at the Crown Hotel and they had a pod machine in there and I literally took one drink and was like, <laughs> and I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that's not the reaction here. Let's go, hello. I mean, it might just be because I watered it down though. I'm not sure. I mean, I wouldn't really rate it, honestly. I'm gonna try doing it again the proper way with a different one. literally straight up cold but I like the taste of that one better than the other one maybe that's because like I didn't water it down but chuck some ice in this and it'd be a really really nice iced coffee if you ask me I guess I'll try the third one now as well hey may as well mm -hmm. let's see how hot you are oh that smells good I don't know why the cappuccino one smelled worse to me that doesn't make a lot of sense I don't know Verdict, I would say favorite to least favorite, espresso blonde, this espresso, then the cappuccino. Maybe she get Braden in here to help me out. I'm gonna get another opinion. Be right back. Smells good. I don't know how much I fancy it. Not sure? I'm really unsure. It has on the coffee pods like 
the number of lines, right? Yeah. So like, then you turn this accordingly. So I'm gonna do two for that one. Yeah. But then it's also like the higher up on this it is, the more liquid goes into it. Gotcha. Yeah. So it's like, how many coffee pods do I need to use to get one cup of coffee? <laughs> so I'm kind of like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. Um. Anyway, so I've got three different ones. Personally, this is my favorite one so far. Yes. Yeah, I think one. that one is that one. Okay. And then that's the cappuccino, which I think is kind of trash, but also I kind of like was like, what? Only up to that line? I don't think so. And then just like kept going. So maybe that's why it can taste weird. And then this one is, is. this one. <laughs> gotcha. Anyway, um, some of them might be cold because they've got quite a bit of milk in them compared to coffee. Gotcha. But do you want to have some sips and tell me what you think? <laughs> sure. Which one should I try first? Um, that one or that one or that one. Okay. <laughs> I'll just try Which one should I try first? Any of the three that I have. <laughs> it's not bad, it's like... No better than instant coffee? Yeah, it's kind of just like the coffee I have every morning. Legit, so it's like, I'm like, ugh, ugh, it hurts. <laughs> that one's meant to have like smooth and sweet notes. Definitely tastes a bit sweeter. That's probably why I like it more. Mm. And that's the Trashachino. The Trashachino. This one's really warm. Is that the recent one? No. It's just because it's like, they're like, all recent. Oh, it's okay. just because that one, like, I was like, screw that, I'm doing more lines. Definitely tastes more watered down. Yeah. Which I think what is the more lines. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> With me rebelling. That one's probably the easiest to drink. Yeah. This one's like my morning coffee, so it's not too bad. That's an espresso one. So what do you think? Should I attempt to return this? Potentially. <laughs> I just don't think it's worth it, hey. No. Um. Nah. Just like Not me. huge, are it? Regifted? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what we do, what happens. Wah, wah. Don't get it. <laughs> <sighs> well, it's time for a bit of a negative Nelly review because I wouldn't waste your money. I just find that it doesn't taste any better than your standard instant coffee that you get in a jar and obviously that is going to be a lot cheaper than buying pods constantly and also better for the environment. Like obviously I am very disappointed <laughs> because I spent $99 on a coffee machine that I don't like and probably won't really use so I'll probably be trying to get rid of it on Marketplace and get as much of my money back as I possibly can, which I really doubt that I will be able to do, but I also don't think that they'll take it back at Big W either. But I'll look into it, we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed that some way or another I can get my money back. I don't know if it's just me personally, I feel like Braden and I have pretty high standards for what counts as like good coffee, but yes, we'll drink instant coffee, like that's fine. Obviously you can't always have like the best, most fresh coffee, but I just don't think that it's any better. I'm really sorry if any of you guys were watching this and setting up your own machine or hoping to get one yourself. I, I really don't like to have a negative review, but at the end of the day, I do these things so that you guys don't have to. So please save your money. Anyway, I don't want to be any more of a downer on your days, guys. So let's wrap things up. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Angela. If you would like to join me on a more permanent basis, you can hit the subscribe button to join our lovely Lauderdale family. And of course, ding that notification bell to be told when I bring out a new video. I do hope that you guys found this video helpful. Even though it wasn't a positive review, my goal at the end of the day is to try and help you guys out. So I hope that I achieved that one. With that said, I do believe that's enough from me, guys. So each and every one of you have an absolutely fun, beautiful, wonderful, marvelous, spectacular, amazing, glorious day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Love that love ya.